Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and in this video here I'm going to be talking about making money through cactus rum production in Kenshi. So cactus rum is one of the alcohols that you can only create with uh, cactuses and it is pretty much the one alcohol you're stuck with if you're going to be making, um, if you're going to be farming in a desert zone. You can use cacti to uh, make chew sticks, dust witches, and um, cactus rum as far as I know. And I can't remember if there's any other recipes that it's used for. I don't think so though. So cactus rum right here as you're looking at, this is a pretty good money maker. And uh, I'm going to share with you a few tips and tricks not only for making it but also for uh, exporting it. How to make the most money when doing so. So in order to make it you'll first need a base like you see here and you're going to need some uh, cactus whatever you call them. Patches of uh, crops. What are they called? Plots of land? Well, they're just called farms in this game, so I guess that's what I'll call them. So you need uh, as many cactus farms as you can handle. Uh, it really depends on how many characters you have planned to go uh, in and out of your base, or how many you plan to keep at the base. But usually it's uh, one worker per like 1.5 farms, I think it usually comes down to. Uh, as they get skill, as they get better and better skills, like you can see a lot of my uh, farmers ha probably have 90 skills. Here's Green. He's one of my main farmers. Yeah, he's got 94. He works at a pretty darn good uh, pace, 1.4 uh, speed. Also, one thing that's worth mentioning is uh, they will work at half speed during the night, so it's good to have some lights throughout your farms. You can see I have some lights here throughout my farms. Not enough, though. Like, I have, I have very minimal lighting throughout my, my uh, farms. And that will make them, uh, so when they're working on my farms at night, they'll work slower, but it doesn't really matter, as you can see, since they have a lot of downtime. Uh, as far as the actual building, you're going to need uh, a few of these cactus rum storages, as well as this rum still, at least one or two rum stills, and then a few also cactus storages. The cactus storages will store uh, extra cactus that you get. And it will also allow your characters to work basically completely automated because they'll constantly be able to grab some cactus, cacti, rather, and keep working. Uh, in order to build all of this stuff, you're also going to need to research a lot at the research bench. So, depending on how new you are to Kenshi, you might be unfamiliar with the researching uh, thing altogether. So here is one of the research benches right here. And you can see I have some things in it already. Uh, that's because I was researching some stuff here, but here's the research tab and this will be filled with tons and tons of tons of stuff If this is the, your first time playing and you have not done any of this before You'll want to uh, hit up a general store buy a bunch of books fill up the research bench with all of the books that you've bought and then Research basically everything that is available to you and that will usually get you enough to start a base Which is some basic buildings some farms like this uh, in order to research these farms, though, you're going to have to buy the, some of the crops at general stores, too. Like, in order to research cactus farms, you're going to need to put some cacti inside your research bench. And then research uh, cactus farming after you do that. So, like I was saying before, once you research all of that stuff, I'd recommend building a, bil a building kind of similar to what you see here. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use a bigger one than I did. I like the small purpose one for uh, the small amount of uh, cactus rum that I was going to be going to be making and as you can see I have just some cactus rum storage barrels here which the characters will use to drop off the cactus rum after they make it and then I have a bunch of cactus stored barrels here which the characters will select the characters that are farming will drop off cactus in those barrels and the characters that are using it for either cooking or for making rum will pick it up from those barrels it's a nice little uh, way to save time and to make your characters basically fully automated like you see they uh they are for me right here so once you make a bunch of cactus rum that like you see that i have you're gonna have to load it up onto a pack mule or um a character with a backpack depending on which of the two you have available so my pack mule you can see i got quite a bit on him he's uh he's a little bit overburdened and as you can see too i have a little bit of a stack mod going on with my characters because I, uh, I don't like the original, st how high everything stacks to in the original game. I think it's much better with the stack mod, hence why I use it. Uh, so you load him up with basically everything you can, all of the cactus rum possible. 
And then what you want to do, in my honest opinion, is take all of that cactus rum all the way down here into the swamp. And cactus rum sells for plus 25% in the swamp at basically every swamp village. Uh, so Shark, Mudtown, Grey Flare Village, Rot, and uh, this swamp village here south of Shark and also the Stone Rat Village. All of them will buy uh, cactus rum for 25% more. Also, they will also sell this, hash. So this is a drug and uh, you can sell hash for 700 cats a piece in Flats Lagoon here and Morn here. And you should be able to actually sell it in probably one of these two towns. I think Black Scratch is owned, but no, Black Scratch is anti slavers I don't know if they'll allow hash there, but they may. Uh, the reason it's allowed in Flats Lagoon and Morn is because both of these towns are owned by the Tech Hunters. You can see the faction that owns both of these is Tech Hunters. So uh, it's actually not illegal there. If you tried selling this, though, in, like, uh, Katoon, it, this is the United Cities, and hash would be illegal there. So you only want to do it in Flats or Morn. And also in both Flats and Morn, hash also sells for, like I said, 400% more. So you'll be able to sell this hash for 700 cats, and you'll only buy it from uh, the swamp for, I think, uh, 80 cats a piece, I think is usually what it goes for there, depending on what the price markup is for you. So essentially what you want to do is sell all your cactus rum in the swamp and buy all the hash you possibly can. And then go to Flats Lagoon and sell all the hash you bought. This will effectively be like tripling the amount of money that you uh, started with, with just selling the cactus rum. Because you're going to sell the cactus rum and you're going to make back all of the money uh, you spend at the vendor after you buy the hash. Uh, and then you're going to take all the hash to Flats Lagoon and sell it all to all of those vendors. It'll probably take you like three or four days of letting vendors reset in order to uh, sell all the hash that you have. And then once you sell all the hash, uh, check the price of skeleton repair kits at Flats Lagoon and at Morn. If they are below 95% price markup, I'd honestly recommend you buy all the skeleton repair kits. And... Uh, then it's up to you how many times you want to do this, but then you can take all of this back to um, the swamp and then sell all the skeleton repair kits there because they usually go for a lot more in the swamp and buy all the hash again and then go back to Flats Lagoon, sell it all, and then back to swamp, sell it all, and keep going back and forth as many times as you want to make as much money as you want. And this is one of the most well-known trade routes in the game. Uh, I have this covered in detail on both my YouTube channel and my website if you'd like to learn more about that trade route. Uh, but that's really all there is to it. I personally, this is usually what I do when I start a new game in Kenshi. Uh, since you usually start out, most of the starts, uh, it puts you in like a desert zone. So I usually always grow cactuses, get a bunch of cactus rum, and then I sell it in the swamp, buy a bunch of hash, and then I do that trade run usually five or six times until I have enough money, and then I go you know, finish building a base, buy gear, buy weapons, buy everything that I need, and then move on with the game to the end game portion. And that's really all there is to it. I, hopefully this video answered your questions. Hopefully it helped you guys out. If it did, leave me a like because that helps me out. And aside from that, I will catch you guys around in future Kenshi videos. Peace.